Hey everyone, Spotify reported second quarter 2023 earnings and in this video I'm going to review those earnings results. I'm also going to update my recommendation of Spotify stock. Coming into these earnings I had the stock rated as a hold. You're going to want to tune in to see if I'm upgrading or downgrading or keeping this stock where it is so let's get right into it here so total revenue of 3.2 billion was up by 11 percent year over year the loss per share worsened to 155 almost doubling from 85.85 last year monthly active users increased to an impressive 551 million that was up from 515 million in the previous quarter now of those subscribers 220 million were premium subs meaning they were paying for their subscription that's an increase of 10 million from the previous quarter that's not too big of an issue because those that are not paying for subscriptions generate advertising revenue although that may not be as lucrative as actually paying subscribers the company is forecasting total monthly active users of 572 million in the third quarter which means it expects to add about 21 million subs in the next quarter with 224 million being premium so 4 million premium sub increase and about 17 million regular ad supported sub increase total revenue forecast is expected to increase to just 3.3 billion so only a very moderate increase in total revenue despite adding 20 million subscribers so that was a bit disappointing and cash flow from operations was also disappointing it decreased to 13 million this was down from 39 million in the prior year investors like myself were hoping to see some evidence of economies of scale here as the company has scaled up to over 500 million subscribers we want to see growing cash flow from operations not declining cash flow from operations it's becoming more expensive for spotify to secure the rights to attract these popular talented artists and podcasters onto the platform which then attracts users the difficulty is the company is not generating enough revenue from the from its monthly active users in order to generate profitability it's paying these talent uh, it's paying its talent more so than it's generating in revenue although I do expect at some point after it reaches a sufficient scale for the cash flow and profitability to really expand here although it's taking longer than many might have expected the good news is that it is positive cash flow right the company is not losing money in terms of cash flow from operations so it doesn't need to go back to investors and ask investors for more money in order to support its growth ambitions it's self-sustaining it's sustaining its growth it's bootstrapping on its way to more subscribers so to answer the question about the stock am i increasing or downgrading the rating i'm doing neither i'm keeping spotify stock as a hold if anything i would say it i it moved closer to a sell than a than a buy it moved backward in this quarter considering the the decrease in cash flow from operations the decrease in profitability all of that only led to a moderate 11 percent increase year over year in revenue with those kinds of losses i would have hoped to see over 20 percent of revenue growth which was not the case here so for all those reasons i'm keeping the stock as a hold for now but that's all i've got for this video Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.